suppress and delegitimize information contained in Hunter Biden's laptop about today's hearing is the House Oversight and Accountability Committee's first step in examining the coordination between the federal government and big tech to restrict protected speech and interfere in the democratic process. Democratic process. Social media platforms are in Twitter under the leadership of our witnesses today was a private company. The federal government used to accomplish what it constitutionally cannot, limit the free exercise of speech. We now know all this thanks to Elon Musk and the independent journalists who have contributed to what are known as the Twitter files. That brings us to the specific topic of today's hearing, Twitter censorship of a news article that shed light on Joe Biden's involvement in his family's suspicious business deals. Fifth, the Twitter files reference. I was not aware of and certainly did not engage in any conspiracy or other effort to do anything unethical, improper, or unlawful while, while I was at Twitter, period. I did not act unlawfully or otherwise inappropriately in any manner with respect to Hunter Biden's laptop. But also from Iran, China, and beyond. I'm aware of no unlawful collusion with or direction from any government agency or political campaign on how Twitter should have handled the Hunter Biden laptop situation. Taking down accounts that engage in child sexual exploitation. This policy revision immediately allowed people to tweet the original articles with the embedded source materials, relying on its longstanding practice not to retroactively apply new policies. Twitter informed the New York Post that it could immediately begin tweeting when it deleted the original tweets, which would have freed them to retweet the same content again. The New York Post chose not to delete its original tweets, so Twitter made an exception after two weeks to retroactively apply the new policy to the Post's tweets. In hindsight, Twitter should have reinstated the Post account immediately. The importance of this work goes far beyond Twitter's business prospect. I've been clear that in my judgment at the time, Twitter should not have taken action to block the New York Post's reporting. And just 24 hours after doing so, the company acknowledged its error. But the decisions here aren't straightforward, and hindsight is 2020. It isn't obvious what the right response is to a suspected but not confirmed cyber attack by another government on a presidential election. I believe Twitter erred in this case because we wanted to avoid repeating the mistakes of 2016 and tactical maneuvers in the mob violence. Did I hear you correctly to say that there were thousands or even hundreds of thousands of counterfeit Twitter accounts set up by Russian propaganda and disinformation for Vladimir Putin to pump his poison into the bloodstream of American social media? Is that right? That's right, sir. And that's not just past tense. Those accounts are active on social media today. This is an ongoing campaign. Well, we should be having a hearing about that. I appreciate your alerting to us uh, what's taken place. ...involved in the decision around Hunter Biden's laptop. If we are going to talk about social media in the government, we need to talk about Twitter's failure to act before January 6th. I am here to tell you that doing nothing is not an option. If we continue to do nothing, violence is going to happen again. I was inspired by how people were using able. No person, people, or company should have that kind of unchecked power or that kind of responsibility. The modern day public conversation should not be susceptible to the whims of any one individual or any one company. By suppressing expert opinions from doctors. Thank God for Matt Taibbi. Thank God for Elon Musk for allowing to show us in the world that Twitter was basically a subsidiary of the FBI. A fake laptop story. I mean, this is an embarrassment. It's just a, an abuse of public resources, an abuse of public time. We could be talking about health care. We could be talking about bringing down the cost of prescription drugs. We could be talking about abortion rights, civil rights, voting rights. But instead, we're talking about Hunter Biden's half-fake laptop story. I mean, this is an embarrassment.